happened to the secondary school? So pull up the secondary school system, put in teachers. We have plans to put in 200,000 teachers immediately uh, into our school into our school system. We have plans to even give study allowances to students. I went to the US. Greatest Nigerian people, yes. I have always said it that this is complete waste of both my time and the police time. Uh, but we know the reason they're after us. There's a new movement emerging in this country today that is challenging the status quo. And that's what we'll continue to do. Uh, today, coincidentally, is my birthday. I hope that somebody has a cake for me so that I can tell you. Best place is where you can have it. I have the best protection anybody who is serving in the So I turned 46 today. And you know, when I started as a student union leader, I used to be detained by area commanders. You know, area A. And the last time I was detained, I was detained at area F again, where I've been detained before. So I've decided to recruit myself as an area reporter. Of the All Progressives Congress and Atiku Abubakar of the Opposition People's Democratic Party. Both of these candidates are actually well known in Nigeria. President Buhari, obviously the incumbent, also served as a military head of state in the early 80s. Atiku Abu Bakr served as uh, the vice president of uh, Nigeria from uh, 1999 until 2007. Um, because of this, they are perhaps not the most inspiring candidates. Um, Nigerians have seen them before. So the question in voters' minds is, what are they going to bring to us now? What this is the first palace I'm entering since I started campaigning five weeks ago. You have shown yourself to be a disruptor. You have disrupted the economic system in this country by putting away people who were thieves in our banking system. After you left, we now have 5.1 trillion Naira on collateralized loans owned owned by a few people and the government of Nigeria is now responsible for cleaning up after those bank managers, bank executives that you drove away when you were at CBN. They are all back as chairman of their own individual or separate bank. I also want to disrupt the political space in Nigeria so that youths in Kano, in Port Harcourt, in Lagos can enjoy the great benefits that this country has to offer us. I have come to you today also to announce an elaborate project to you. I am running to become the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria in 2019. And I want to start, I want to start by enlisting your support. I know that you cannot endorse the candidate right now, but I know where your heart is, and your heart is where Nigeria can become the greatest nation on the continent of Africa in the next few years. Kill Boko Haram. If you're a Muslim, you're a target. If you're a Christian, you're a target. They slaughter people like animals. Your wife, she captured by Boko Haram. We just got word that the MI24 Hind is uh, going on operation for air support. <laughs>
Nigeria is created by God, and it will outlive all evil machinations and designs against the overall interest of in this nation. Who want this country to remain permanently in sorrow? Some of them are in power. Some of them are in the in the in the security forces. Just in Plateau State, and Plateau State has been boiling since Sunday. Barking Ladi, Ghana Rob, and Goldie, and several places in Jos. Villages of Baron and Plato with 200 minimum dead. Six villages in Benway with 169 dead. It's a righteous thing with God to recompense tribulation to them that trouble us. These are troublers of the church. No fool on the heart, man. The Boko Haram and the authorities backing them join me to invoke causes on the killers, the sponsors of the killers, the ones hiding the killers. Help me to decree the cause. The old world was criticizing that it did not show up. It does look like an afterthought, isn't it, Mr. Additional? We were in this country when a president that served two terms also refused to show up. In that debate, President Lucia Ngoba Sojo was in office for two terms. He never showed up at any debate. President Buhari has, had, had been in the debates in the past as candidate. There is no law that compels you to attend the debate. It's a voluntary thing. So, mind the message at times they present out. Now about Oba Sojo, Ushomole, and this thing. When I have a father that he was in position to change the family, he could not change the family. Then you come out now and be, you know, castigating another person's father. They will tell you charity begins at home. These are presidents. Lagos Ibadan Expressway was there. It could not fix it up. Majority of roads in the southeast, in the uh, south uh, Niger Delta, they could not fix it up. We know when the, how the militancy started. Then let's go about it to the education sector. We remember under this same our elder statement, the past president. 
Asu was on strike. Masses children were in Nigerian universities. The, the, the children were no 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 no. The children were the children were roaming about the street and a minister of Federal Republic of Nigeria, a minister of education, his two sons graduated from university in abroad. Same time the ASU were on strike while the children of the commoners were on the street. They call us commoners because they divide Nigeria. They, they are allied Nigerians, they are common people, right? Now, this same minister organized a I mean graduate graduation party in in Abuja there. Invited all the Obasanjo cabinet, nearly all Obasanjo cabinet, to be dancing and rejoicing. Why the children of the commoner are on the streets? Then this our elder statement. He has a university. The vice president too has a university. How many commoner children, commoner children, can go to their universities? So when when people come, people forget about their history. What the the seed they have sold. And they start, I mean, nobody is enjoying Nigeria as Nigeria is today. But because of deceitful, these people have told us Nigeria is the biggest economy in the world. Nigeria is this. Do they think outside the box? Do they, do they think outside the box? When Nigerian oil, we know that Nigerian oil will soon crash. Nobody will buy the oil again. And there was heavy income, massive income on the oil. What did they do? Use the money to do? They started sharing the money. They started sharing, buying houses in Dubai, buying houses in England, buying houses in America. Are they living in those houses? Are they living in those houses? The road now. We are I am in pain. I am in severe pain. I can't talk this neck anymore. If anything happens to me, the Inspector General of Police should be held accountable. He's going to do all the wonders. What is your take on the not? I'm excited about the not too young to run bill. I think it's high time um, younger people are allowed to run for office because we have to take the ideas from the new from the younger generation into everything we're putting together to move Nigeria forward. So I'm excited about it. I support it. We've had old, it seems like we've had like the same people ruling us right from independence, just like a merry go round of people coming back, you know. I don't I actually think we need like more like political education, you know, like people, people don't even figure, people haven't even figured out that, you know, like you can hold your local government accountable for stuff. You can actually remove your local, go your, you know, your local government chairman. You can recall your senator. So I think like, you know, we, we, it's a very good place to start. You know, it opens up the ground for young people. But the question is, on what system? Will the system allow the young ones to rule? The win for Emmanuel Macron after what had been an anxious wait for his supporters who'd gathered at the Louvre in central Paris. Huge cheers greeted the first projected results. It's an extraordinary moment. It's exceptional. This will be a fresh start. I'm so happy because it's really a victory for Europe. It's great. It's exceptional. He's a young man who will prove himself. He already did so when he was minister and now he's president. He'll do so once again. This is what France is, and we're so happy to show this um, face to the world today. In a solemn victory speech a short time later, the president-elect said he'd put all his energy into being worthy of the trust of the French people. I know that a number of you have expressed anger, anxiety and doubt. I have a responsibility to listen to you while protecting the most vulnerable, by showing solidarity and by fighting against all forms of inequality or discrimination. I will do my utmost to ensure your safety and to guarantee the unity of the nation. APC, if you like, listen to me. You better let bad guy extend his tenor, because right now the youth are ready. They don't want PDP, they don't want APC, and they don't want your third force or person job. Will you shishe? We want... As a kid, Macron was eight years old when Buhari was leader. Buhari has ruled me three times almost now. When I was 19, he was the leader of Nigeria, 1983, 84. When I was 51, he was the leader of Nigeria. But when I'm 54, the leader of Nigeria, oh boy,
someone that I've known for so long, right? Even though I didn't have the chance of getting so close to him, I've watched his, his, several of his clips, you know. Then when he was even trying to uh, apprehend uh, a minister, telling him not to bam, telling her not to bamboozle us, a lot of things like that. So he's a legend to we the youth, and that is why I'm actually here today. So, so Wore is a very active man, and his proactiveness is seen in his doggedity in fighting against social injustices. I get to know him naturally for the past three years due to his active measures in the media world. I have disrupted the media space. I'm now here to disrupt the political space. <laughs> this movement that you are here is a movement that has, is supposed to be on ground for a very long period of time in Nigeria. Because of my commitment and my belief in the person of Omoyo Leshoure and the movement called Take Back Nigeria, that is why I have to take my time out of my PhD schedule to make sure that this program holds today. Omoyo Leshoure has been the conscience of the nation so he has been on the front line struggle to make Nigeria, Nigeria of our dream. And the moment he could uh, come out boldly so to take the mantle of the struggle, so we identified with him as a man of uh, fiction. So he knows this, he understands this, he's a youth, he has traveled very wide. He has traveled very wide and he know he has been criticizing this, uh, the government, the former government and up to this present government. He has been saying this. So he understands, he knows what really, you know, pinches people. Like Martin Luther King said, I have been to the mountain top and I've seen the promised land. It doesn't matter what happened to me now. Showare as a student, as leader of the students, fought the courtist within and among the students. I think with his message, with his vision, with his program, with his policies, which are pro-people, he is in a position to lead the fight against the courtes ruling Nigeria. So and we believe he might do something. Mm. But he got to the state government of Edo State and nothing really changed. Mm. So now, you've been an activist. I had you even I uh, one time student in of Unilag and all. Universal. Of exactly. Right. So, um, there are so, and so many fight, and activists like that that are style like that and yeah. trying to yeah. point it and change. Yeah. So now, I'm still yeah. yet to be convinced about your plans for Nigeria if you eventually become president. Because I see that you are actually in the forefront. But then, he still. There is more to it being president than just being yes. an activist. The question I want to ask is Is anybody going to church this morning here? Anybody who's going to church? Is there anybody who just came from a church? Very good. Are there good and bad pastors? Yes. Has that made you stop going to church? No. Exactly. So, just like you have good and bad pastors, there are good and bad activists. I, ha I don't want to elaborate too much on the Shio Mole, but Shio Mole was never an activist, for those of you who don't know his history. I know the history of all the activists in Nigeria. But the only example I will give to you is that Oshio Mole, if he was an activist, he would have been arrested during Abacha's time. <laughs> Even someone as young as me, I was arrested several times under Babangeda. You cannot find any record of Oshio Mole being arrested. He was a double agent who promoted himself as an activist after the military left. Now, because he knew how to talk the rhetoric, but I have for you scars to show. I have evidence, I have pedigree. At the University of Lagos, you can go there. If anybody who's been to University of Lagos, they will, rem they will remember what I did in 1992 at the University of Lagos, up to 1994. They will remember what we did during June 12th, right? The second question I have for you is, who was Mandela? Mandela was an activist who spent 27 years in prison. Did he become a good president in South Africa? There be no mistakes about this. Whoever governs Singapore 
must have that iron in him or give it up. This is not a game of cards. This is your life and mine. I've spent a whole lifetime building this. And as long as I'm in charge, nobody's going to knock it down. For anybody, you have to vote for God. <laughs> Good evening. So we're just asking very simple question. Who are you going to vote for in the 2019 election? Right, let's start with you. I don't know the person. You don't know who you vote for? Mm -hmm. I'm not going to even vote for anybody. The one that we are voting have fellows. So I can't vote for anybody now. What about you, man? Jesus Christ. Who are you again? voting for? Jesus Christ. When I stand beside a Canadian, an American, a Briton, a Norwegian, when I stand beside now a Ghanaian, when I stand beside a, a Belgian, I don't want to feel ashamed because of what misleadership and misgovernance over the nearly 60 years of our existence has done to what was once a beautiful lady called Nigeria but now is so emaciated and needs specialized intensive care if she's to make it out of the sickness called multiple sclerosis. Examination to become a recruit, they are put in you know, Arabic there, in case you don't know. And they are infiltrating everywhere. But the power of Jesus, the power of Jesus is going to stop all the most. The power of Jesus is going to stop all the most. Somebody said, Well, you see, I'm from the east. It doesn't concern me. Go to the east today. The core east. The core east. Go to Niger Delta. They are penetrating everywhere, penetrating everywhere, and we must not therefore sit and fold our hands and close our eyes. There is nowhere in the corners where they give paper to build church. No, and you can verify that. But they are penetrating the east, asking your governors to give them land with endorsement of CO, CFO. We must wake up. We must wake up. We must wake up. 2019 will be a deciding year for the church. We must wake up. We must wake up. We will not use our hands to vote for people who will kill us. Are you hearing me at all? We will not vote for people who have value for cow more than value for life. Wake up. A word is enough to the wise. Rise to your feet. Rise to your feet. You can be in any party of your choice, but don't vote for anyone who is against your face. Don't vote for anyone who will forget your vote and slaughter your neck. Because we live in a world where we are told we are the leaders of tomorrow and the politicians of the day have ensured that that tomorrow never comes. Let us today tell the politicians of the day that the tomorrow they have been talking about is today. We live in a continent today where, as the young man has said, our young women upon attaining puberty cannot afford sanitary pads. But 
and our public servants have iPads which they do not know how to use. We live in a continent today where our leaders who preside over our health sectors have no faith in the health sector. When they are sick and their families are sick, they run away to seek treatment in Germany, in France, in the United Kingdom, in South Africa, and India. Even our health ministers don't have faith in our health departments. We live in a country and countries today where the political leadership have no faith in the education sector. They bring unto us what they call free primary education or universal primary education, but they can never dare take their children to those schools. We live in countries where we claim that agriculture is the backbone of our societies, but we do not use technology to produce crops. Africans are dying younger than they were dying 50 years ago. And I want to submit to you that corruption is the source of all these. I had the privilege of serving as the director of the Kenyan Anti-Corruption Commission. But it would appear that I did not understand my brief well. Upon being appointed, I assumed that my mandate was to go out there and fight the corruption. You compatriots, Nigeria stole obey. The future is right now. Nigeria, you slow delay. Time to make our country better, better for everybody. We talk about your nation, we'll rail. The future is bright, and we shall take it back for good. Take it back. The future of this country is our own. Take it back. Three, one, two.